Hello again, everybody. This is Helen Yancey, and this is part two of how to get started painting photographs with Corel Painter. I happen to be using Corel Painter 2017, but what I'm going to show you is going to be valid in any version of Painter within the last four or five years. So whichever version you have, it's going to work. It's just that the newer versions have the palette drawers, which I love. They open and close and give me all my desktop space. But the tabs that are in these palette drawers are available to you in any version of Painter or any fairly recent version. We started last time uh, by introducing Painter and opening uh, Baby Clara, which we're going to open again now. I have Baby Clara on my desktop, so we're going to be saving our versions to the desktop. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do, I have my image open. I know that this is the image I want to paint. I want to do something special with Baby Clara. And I have choices here. If I'm going to use cloning, which is the way to get started when you first begin to paint a photograph. I have a choice. I can use quick clone or clone. If I use clone, I'm going to immediately have an exact duplicate right in front of me of the original image. And I can paint then on the clone using the colors from the original image. But I want to make my life a little bit simpler than that. So I am going to do file quick clone. And what this does is make my original image disappear. It is not gone, but Painter is so smart that it now has put my original image into the clone source tab that is contained in the photo art palette drawer, which is amazing. But it also, if you don't have the palette drawers, you can find clone source under window in your major menu at the top. So window, clone source, and you do need that. You need a clone source tab. You need your um, color and layers tab. I like to have my general brush controls tab open because it shows me all kinds of other things. But while we're just getting started and we're going to keep it simple, you do have in the photo art palette drawer, you have under painting, auto painting, and um, re restoration, which means bring back whatever it is you want to bring back from your original image. I'm not going to use these, so I'm going to just put them away for now. They're not gone, they're just put away. The one I will use is Clone Source. And what I want to show you first is you now have um, an image. It shows you're going to be creating painting from an image. And if current pattern is checked, that means you're not going to be painting from your image. You're going to be painting from whatever pattern has been selected over here. So always watch after you do quick clone or clone, either one, watch and make sure you're going to be painting from an image. And that would be the one that's checked. Your tracing paper can be anywhere from a low percentage so that you can see the whole image or 100% so you can't see the image at all, but it's still there. It is still there. Your color wheel is grayed out because Painter has selected for you either the last cloning brush you used or a soft cloner or one of the clones. It has selected the category cloners and a brush will be selected in that category. When that category or any cloning brush is selected, your little rubber stamp, your cloning stamp has been clicked for you automatically. So your colors are grayed out. And that means you will be painting with an image rather than with the colors in the color wheel. So our very first brush is Soft Cloner. Actually, this one is Soft Cloner 2. I can use uh, Soft Cloner, which I have imported from an earlier version of Painter um, because I like it better. Um, it goes to a, 
uh, hundred percent reset. Um, but it, it all depends on which which brush you want to use. Let's go with soft cloner too. And the first thing I'm going to do is make my brush bigger, uh, either by using the slider or by selecting on a PC your Alt and Command buttons, on a Mac your Option and Control button, and I got that backwards. On a Mac it's Option, Command, on a PC it's Alt, Control. And with those, with your fingers on those, you can make your brush as big or as small as you want it to be. I have changed the, the um, I am changing the opacity to 100%. And my brush is now big because I'm lazy and I want to bring back just as much of baby Clara as I want to paint from. And I don't want a whole lot of the background. I don't want the pillows in the chair, but I want some of her dress. And her dress is kind of gray because it was a great grandmother's dress. Uh, not as white as it could be. Um, because we did not dare to make it as white as it could be or it wouldn't exist anymore. All you moms know what I mean. I'm going to turn my tracing paper all the way to 100% to make sure I don't leave a hole. And that's easy to do. See, if, I, if I'm not paying attention, I can leave a hole and I don't want to do that. That would be the worst thing I can do. Now, if we were um, playing with some more advanced tools, I could also add a background in this box by pressing this button, open source image, and I could add a different background in here and paint from that. I'm not gonna do that right now. I just wanna show you how to get started on your painting. So we have cloned back much of baby Clara.